<laughs> Greetings from Ait Ben Hadou. Wow, where's that at? We're in the middle of the high Atlas Mountains of Morocco in a thousand year old walled fortress city. And this place is fantastic. Now I said I'm in the high Atlas Mountains. I didn't say I'm high in the Atlas Mountains because the Atlas Mountains, which span Northwest Africa from Morocco all the way over to Tunisia, is actually made up of several different chains. One of which is named the High Atlas. There's also the, the Medium Atlas, the Anti uh, Atlas, the Saharan Atlas, and there's one called the Tell Coastal Atlas that runs through Algeria. But we're here in the highest uh, part of the Atlas Mountains, the High Atlas Mountains, and we're in this awesome city that I had to share with you and talk about. Why is it so awesome? Well, it's one of the best and oldest examples of uh, an existing Casbah. Okay, what's that? I know you've heard the term Casbah from the clash. Rock the Casbah! But it's actually a term that means something uh, in Islamic architecture. Now, it can mean a lot of different things in different societies, but I'll let you go ahead and do a turn to show what the Casbah is. We're actually in, sitting on top of the Casbah, in the kind of high area that's a fortress citadel part of the center of this old Islamic town. Let's go ahead and pan back oh, around the main And as you can see from the view you just got, we're at the highest point. Again, this kind of apex. Back in the day, this, these walls would have been higher to be easily uh, fortified, to be easily defendable, and also to give you this awesome expansive view of this ginormous landscape around us. And uh, it's always, also would have been a symbol of wealth and power of this particular city or the people who built this particular uh, Kasbah. Okay. So why is it here? Why would there be a Kasbah in the middle of what seemingly is mountainous desert? Because back in the day, my friends, this place was hot and it was happening, not just hot temperature wise, it was full of action. Because where we're at is kind of a midway point between the Saharan desert that starts over on that side of the mountains over that way. And if you go uh, the same distance in that direction, you go to Marrakesh, uh, Morocco, Marrakesh, another ancient city that's been an economic thriving hub of Morocco for a very, very, very long time. So why would people have been moving in from the Sahara to Marrakesh a thousand years ago? Because this became kind of a center point uh, bringing together trade from this whole side of West Africa, meaning that camel caravan traders, yes, they still exist and they did a thousand years ago, were bringing in goods and stuff from other big kingdoms in Western Africa and mostly Sub-Saharan Africa. So we think of Sub-Saharan Black Africa, some ancient old kingdoms like the Mali Kingdom down there, the Ghana coast was very rich, and they would have been bringing in exotic things like crazy exotic animals and monkeys and elephants and, and stuff, but also more importantly, gold and ivory and maybe other spices and other traded things that you couldn't get anywhere else. So they would have been packing those things up on camels, bringing them across the Sahara, and this was the place that rose up to greet all those people and their goods and mostly gold and they would set up shops around here and barter and trade and then reposition uh, their cargoes to go on to the rest of the hike to Marrakesh wherein there's a bigger markets and more people and actually you would then take your goods whatever you didn't sell there and put them on ships off the Moroccan coast to be traded with Europe to the north but also swing back around to the east in the Mediterranean and go to the rest of the Middle Eastern world so this place awesome Ait Ben Hadou, uh, between the Sahara and Marrakesh, is also famous because of its awesome architecture, its awesome history, has been named a UN UNESCO World Heritage Site. That in and of itself is cool. So uh, it's got an awesome Casbah, it's a World Heritage Site, but why else is this place awesome? And I can almost promise you, you've seen this place before, maybe more than once, even though you've never visited. What am I talking about? Because the other thing this place is famous for is this is the Hollywood of Morocco. Welcome to Hollywood. Uh, and by that, I mean that this particular little city, little town, little village uh, that's a thousand years old has been the backdrop for a whole slew of movies that assuredly you've seen one, two, ten, or all of. Just a short list I made, a short list of films that have been produced in this vicinity are uh, The Man Who Would Be King, ancient old school uh, Sean Connery flick, go check that out. Jesus of Nazareth, actually there's been like five Jesus movies made in this area, although we're about as far away from where Jesus lived as possible in the Middle East. Uh, uh, Time Bandits, one of my favorite kids flicks. Jewel of the Nile, 
The Living Daylights, isn't that another 007 flick was filmed here? The Mummy, I know you've seen The Mummy. Gladiator, Alexander, Babel, Prince of Persia, and indeed there's one more. If you've not seen any of those films, I'll bet there's one in popular culture right now, and that is Game of Thrones uses some of this in some of their backdrops and some of their storylines. How fantastic is that? That's what's going on in this awesome Casbah UNESCO World Heritage Site town of Ait Ben Hadou here in the high Atlas Mountains of Morocco. And we're out.